Tonight, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is getting the ball rolling on a possible expansion of the Keystone Dam. Leaders tell 2 News Oklahoma's Brody Myers it's a preventive plan for Oklahoma's big and unpredictable storms. Neighbors around the lake, well, they hope it works or say they could be in a world of trouble. These are images from 2019, Green Country's last major flood. Water overtook parts of A.C. Hatton's property, where he's lived for more than 40 years. A decision he made... Because it was nice. I traded uh, houses with the person. He was elderly and he wanted to come back to town. It's not the first time he's seen these kinds of pictures, but he has yet to move because the water hasn't yet made it inside his house. Here's what he'd tell someone thinking about making a move to the lake. Uh, I think I'd say hold off. I mean, what's this going to do as far as insurance? I mean, are we going to be able to get insurance? Am I going to be considered in a flood zone? All worthy questions because the Army Corps of Engineers thinks that big storm could come. Keystone Dam was built in 1943. The world has changed a lot in the last 81 years, and so was the weather. With that new data in mind, the Corps is considering raising the dam by 10 feet. But they'll have to deal with a bunch of cooks in the kitchen. The tribes, neighbors, the environment, and the metro area, to name a few. With public hearings the last two days, they've aimed to... Limit all those impacts to those resources, but also ensure that uh, we're doing what needs to be done for, for the dam. Brandon Wadlington and the rest of his team are considering everyday issues, too. Once the project starts, it could be 10 to 15 years before it's completed. And for three of those years, the road behind me will be closed. Um, Keystone and Highway 151 runs across. Um, that's a major commuter fare for a lot of folks. And so uh, we want to make sure that the concerns, questions are answered for everybody and that we're taking that fully into consideration in our proposed project. Right now, they are in the primary stages of the process. It will take a literal act of Congress before workers can start moving dirt. Whatever the plan, Hatton hopes it works. If I'm on vacation or something and that lake comes up and gets in my house, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I can't get all my stuff out of the house. I can't do anything. And there is little to be done to obscure the forces of nature. But the engineers are going to give it a shot. Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.